Arithmetic using scientific notation. Arithmetic using numbers written in scientific notation is very similar to arithmetic using powers of 10. For addition and subtraction, you need to make sure the decimal places line up. This is really easy if both numbers you are adding happen to have the same power of 10. For example, 4.3 times 10 to the 6 plus 3.4 times 10 to the 6 equals 7.7 .7 times 10 to the 6. However, if the powers are different, you will need to change one or both of them. There are two ways you can proceed. You could just change both numbers into their original decimal representation and add them. For example, 1.2 times 10 to the 4th plus 4.5 times 10 to the 3rd in decimal representation is 12,000 plus 4,500, and the sum is 16,500, which you could go back and write in scientific notation as 1.65 times 10 to the 4th. But sometimes it might be easier to just change one of the numbers so that it's rewritten with a different exponent, this time a power of 10 that matches the other number. Let's do another example by adding 7.83 times 10 to the 5th plus 4.62 times 10 to the 3rd. They don't have the same power of 10. You can change 10 to the 3rd into a 10 to the 5th by multiplying by 100, but when you do this, you will also need to divide the 4.62 by 100 to keep the overall value the same. So 4.62 times 10 to the third is the same as 0 0.0462 times 10 to the fifth. Now that the exponents are the same, you can add 7.83 to 0 0.0462 you get 7.8762. Since they both have the same exponent, you can continue to use the 10 to the fifth. Multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation is even easier. For the powers of 10, you simply add all the exponents in the numerator and subtract all the exponents in the denominator. Let's try an example. 4 times 10 to the 4th times 3 times 10 to the minus 7th divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 4th times 6 times 10 to the 3rd. Since you can group different factors of this as needed, we will group all the decimal numbers together and all the powers of 10 together. For the decimal numbers, you have 4 times 3 divided by 5 times 6, which gives 0 0.4, or in scientific notation, 4 times 10 to the minus 1. The 10 to the minus 1 is another power of 10, so you can group it with the others. Combining all the exponents in these powers of 10 gives you negative 1 plus 4 minus 7 minus a negative 4 minus 3, or when summed, is negative 3. So your final answer is 4 times 10 to the minus 3.